There's a surge of nationalism in the air in northern Kosovo, nearly a decade after it first declared independence from Serbia. It only ever achieved partial autonomy, and now upcoming presidential elections are providing politicians with an opportunity to encourage patriotic feelings, even if it comes at the price of harmony. Long-term divisions between Kosovo's Albanian and Serb populations led to war in 1998. It ended with NATO's military intervention and a fragile peace agreement. So suspicions prevail. In past, we have seen that uh, Albanian leaders behaved like bad students. They had a task, they didn't fulfill it, but no matter that they didn't fulfill the task, they didn't deliver. This time, I think there is no more room for making mistakes because we are creating situation like with a spoiled child. The last time there was major ethnic unrest in northern Kosovo was 13 years ago. But territorial disputes between Serbs and Albanians have rumbled on. This bridge has become a symbol of the division between the Albanians in the south and the Serbs in the north. It reopened again just a few weeks ago, but people on both sides are still very sceptical at the chances for political progress here. Here, every day is a struggle for people, no matter their ethnicity. This is one of the poorest regions in the Balkans. It has a 33% unemployment rate. Young people, desperate to further their lives, go in search of opportunities elsewhere. Despite investments and projects from the European Union, corruption is a problem, and many say the government is doing little to tackle it. Our youth are, how to say, educated. Our youth. Uh, doesn't have any difference with other youth from the Europe. What they need is just all these words, this, uh, how to say, uh, what EU is uh, giving to us, political statements, to transfer in reality. The Kosovo government's declaration that it would turn its NATO-trained security forces into a national army has raised concerns. The Serbs in Kosovo have strongly protested against the move. NATO, which has four and a half thousand soldiers stationed there, also opposes it. For now, there is little appetite for further conflict. Citizens are concerned about their daily lives, but foreign influences are seen and felt here, even in this landlocked part of the Balkans. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Mitrovica, Kosovo.